Hello and welcome to Affordable Backyard University, where you will confidently learn how to purchase backyard home improvements the right way. Come with us this week as we travel across Lake Louisville to the little hamlet of Little Elm, Texas, where we're going to hear how a dog asked for something for Christmas and got it. And all of that's next on Affordable Backyard University. Hey guys, we are super excited to announce our new ebook, Affordable Backyard Construction backyard secrets it's all the stuff most contractors wouldn't want you to know and it's available free if you go to affordablebackyardconstruction.com if you wait till the end of this message or if you look down in the description you'll find a link thanks a lot and hope you enjoy it we got a letter from the north pole this year saying that the dog that lived at this house had asked for a fence in the front yard so he could go out and play here's what we did like I said, the little dog wanted a safe and fun place to play where he could bark at the cars going down the street and run up and down the fence with little kids. So after some consideration, the owner opted for this fence. It is a four foot tall extended picket fence. Extended picket means that the pickets stick up past the top rail. This one in fact has little steel finial points. They're decorative on the top and you can see the puppy bars at the bottom of the fence. The posts are two by two steel. The rails, horizontal rails that the pickets attach to, they're one by ones and the pickets are half inch, five eighths actually, but who's telling? The puppy bars are two foot tall. It's all held in the ground by maximizer concrete. It's not going anywhere. Let's take a close look at this never sag gate. First, it's four foot wide and you can see the two two by two posts on either side, they're sunk two foot deep in the ground and they got three quarters of a bag of maximizer concrete you can see at the base that keeps the gate the weight of the gate from pulling the poles in which is what causes the gates to lean uh, it's got a latch that's lockable on the left side and then you'll see the two hinge clamps on the right and they're done a certain way so that gate can't be moved off of the hinge so somebody can get in this is a good gate and that's why we guarantee it not to sag or drag for 15 years and I don't think I've mentioned yet, but this steel is powder coated and it's a real pretty gloss black. Well, you know what that music means. It's time for me to shut the heck up and let you guys walk this job one last time so you can see what a good looking sturdy metal fence looks like and how it's put together. And the dog wants to come back out and play. So thanks for joining us this week on Affordable Backyard University. And Hang on to the end and learn more about getting our new ebook or some other sites you can go to inside our YouTube channel. Don't forget our new downloadable ebook, Affordable Backyard Secrets. It's all the tips and tricks we tell you about every week, but it's all in one spot. You don't have to listen to me talk either. <laughs> go to affordablebackyardconstruction.com. Get your copy today. See you next week.